Welcome to the Tech Explorations channel. Today we're exploring how to use an analog light sensor to sense the intensity of the ambient light around it. At the heart of our exploration is the photoresistor, a component that varies its resistance with light intensity. More light, less resistance. Less light, more resistance. For this experiment, we'll need a few key components. The Arduino Uno, R3 or R4, whichever you have available, a breadboard, jumper wires, a 10 kilo ohm resistor, a photoresistor, an LED, and a 220 ohm resistor to protect the LED. And together, these will form our light detecting circuit. Let's build the circuit. We'll reuse the LED and resistor from our previous videos. The LED is controlled by digital pin 11. Connect the free end of the photoresistor to the 5 volt pin on the Arduino to provide it with power. I'm using the red power rail of the breadboard for this. I've connected this power rail to the Arduino's 5 volt pin with a jumper wire. Connect the free end of the 10 kilo ohm resistor to one of the ground pins on the Arduino to complete the circuit. I'm using the black power rail for this. And I've connected this power rail to one of Arduino's GND ground pins with a jumper wire. Now, find the point where the photoresistor and the 10 kilo ohm resistor are connected together, which is called the junction. Use a jumper wire to connect this junction to analog pin 0 or A0 on the Arduino. And this connection is crucial as that's where the voltage division and hence the light intensity measurement will take place. This setup allows our Arduino to sense different light levels through changes in voltage. The photoresistor and the 10 kilo ohm resistor form a voltage divider in this setup. The photoresistor's resistance changes with light intensity. It decreases with more light and increases in darker conditions. The Arduino reads the voltage at the junction between the two resistors through pin A0, converting this analog voltage into a digital value representing that light intensity. With our circuit ready, it's time to breathe life into it with code. We'll write a simple program that reads light levels and decides when to light up our LED. And here's a program. This code reads the light level, prints it for us to see, and controls the LED based on this reading. Bright light, the LED shines. Dim light, the LED stays dark. Let's have a look at the details. First, we define the photoresistor and LED pins and initialize the LED pin as an output. In the setup, we start serial communication for debugging. In the loop function, we read the light level from the photoresistor and print the latest value to the serial monitor. The if function checks if the light level is above a threshold, which I've set to 600 in this case, and turns the LED on or off accordingly. Of course, you can change the threshold to whichever value you prefer. Finally, a short delay prevents overwhelming the serial monitor and gives a clear reading every one second. Watch as the circuit comes to life. Our circuit responds as we vary the light with a flashlight, causing the analog input pin values in the serial monitor to match the amount of light that hits the lens of the sensor. Before I go, remember the potentiometer from the previous video in this series? Well, the potentiometer, similarly to the photoresistor and fixed resistor circuit in this video, implements a voltage divider, one of the most commonly used circuit patterns in electronics. You'll use the same pattern with analog sensors like the thermistor, the soil moisture sensor, and the flex sensor. Although I'll show you how to use some of these sensors later in this series, you really already know enough to use them now. I hope you enjoyed this light sensing tutorial. Please take a moment to hit the like button and consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future videos. Also, feel free to tell me in the comments below what you'd like to see next. Keep exploring and we'll see you in the next video.